Hi, how are you doing? Just going ahead of going into a uh, new business meeting today, I thought I'd jump on because I haven't been on for a few days and share with you about expectations. Now I've been the target of some scam phone calls these last couple of days. One allegedly from the Australian tax office telling me that unless I pay up very soon I'm going to be in serious trouble. And the other one was advertising some, um, well, taking advertising to, uh, for the Australian Institute of Police Authorities magazine or something. Now, the first one coming from the Australian tax office, you would imagine that somebody in that situation would have gravitas, would have a, a special quality about their voice. Now, whilst this was a recording, yes, it was a, a voice that carried gravity, a voice that carried weight and you must do something about this. The accent was very slight but definitely Australian, definitely no Australia and it was it was appropriate to the situation that they were trying to portray. So if you were caught off guard you would probably take on board that this could be a situation where you <gasps> golly gotta do something about it hit the button that they're asking you to do and opening up yourself to a scam. Now the second one about this advertising, oh he was a happy jolly chap and he was really wanting to get my business and come on board behind the police and this was a really good magazine but he was in a busy noisy environment. It sounded as though he was in a cafe. Now okay he may well have been in terms of selling advertising but it didn't actually get my attention. More to the point, I said I couldn't hear what he was saying. And so he panicked and said, oh, well, I'll, I'll, it's, it's my headset, it's my headset, I'll, I'll have to go and find a new headset and call you back. Well, guess what, he never did. Now, in between times, of course, I've got on Google and discovered that in this noisy environment, the initials that he quoted to me were very similar, but not the same, as a bona fide magazine for the police and actually this was a scam that had been going on in South Australia and had hit the, the national press. So again they were trying to catch me off guard expecting that I wouldn't be looking them up there and then on the computer. So that's what I mean by expectation. If you are particularly if you're selling over the phone make sure that how you phrase things and particularly the tone of your voice is in it's congruent with your message so that's something to be aware of expectations of vocal quality just as much as what somebody's saying and also how to take advantage of expectations we are programmed to hear certain words and then we'll make up the rest and sometimes if we're not listening carefully what we make up could be wrong so this is where I'm talking about pattern interrupts, something that you say which is out of the ordinary, out of expectations and brings people back to what you're saying. I was discussing this with a client this morning and we were talking about masterminds. Now I heard, because it was over the phone and it wasn't such a good line, I heard master might. Oh, she said, I like that. That's different. And immediately she went on to this visual thought about Master Might. She had a, a vision of a, of a character, superhero character, you know, with the cape and all the better business, being Master Might and this was going to be really special. It was different. Now that's something that would be a pattern interrupt because people would be expecting to hear the phrase Master Mind and suddenly it's different. That will bring you back. So think about what you say when you're talking to potential clients. Is there something you could phrase differently? Be a, a, a change in what's expected and see the difference it makes because suddenly people think, oh, hang on, did I hear that right? And they'll come much more closely, paying much more close attention to you and see where it goes from there. So use expectations to your advantage. Let me know how you get on. Bye for now.